anaweza mwanamke ni nguzo ya jamii mwanamke anaweza mwanamke anaweza tawala mwanamke anaweza Amejitamua na sasa tunaona anaweza Amejitamua amejitambua na sasa tunaona of natural resources and tourism and I just wanted to ask him a couple of questions. What is the biggest change in Tanzania tourism that has happened since you came on board? Um, uh, welcome. I think a lot of things are happening at the same time. We One single biggest change has been you know, raining on the dynamics of, of, of poaching a crisis. As you may know, the over 70% of all the tourism in Tanzania is safari-based, is wildlife-based. And because of what was happening uh, by the end of 2013 and the beginning of 2014, uh, with the estimated 10,000 elephants being killed every day, and with the potential of, uh, of having no elephants in the next 10 years, I think that was one most single biggest dynamic that we had to deal with. It was the crisis, it was a situation that a country has to, had to rise to the occasion. I think we, we, we can proudly say that we've seen the worst. Uh, we are working to make sure that we can absolutely defeat poaching. We are going into additional dynamics of what uh, all, the, all the players that work together uh, in this illicit trade of, of wildlife trade and, and, and the illegal ivory trade. So I think that was one. Secondly, um, we moved to reform the, the, the way wildlife is managed. Uh, I established for the first time Tanzania Wildlife Authority that replaces the Division of Wildlife. And I think this will be the game changer, be the only such uh, agency organization in Africa that allows the, the civilian to be to manage the country's resources. So we're going to be appointing a civilian board to actually manage all the people who otherwise were civil service. Um, and I think that's number two thing that I would say is huge change that has happened. And the, the, the third one, not in the order of importance, would be uh, the changes we are, we are undertaking through the Tanzania Tourist Board, uh, changing the management. Uh, and going through the employees' uh, motivation and the re-education, etc. Okay. Um, I've, we, I have attended a lot of um, seminars that you've been doing, and you've been talking about um, not increasing the, uh, the fees for the parks and increasing the guests who are coming in, the tourists who are coming in. How are we going to be working on that? It's purely economic number, you know, the, the biggest challenge for any, uh, any government is to increase taxes, to increase the rates. Mm -hmm. But then what does that in the real uh, economic sense uh, is that it, 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 it undermines the growth, it brings instability in the market, uh, it, 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 it goes into the very heart of expanding the, the tourist uh, receipt and revenues because when you have more people coming uh, eventually you will have more revenues so my idea is other than us working toward hiking the revenues increasing the tax the, 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 the park fees increasing all sorts of fees what I would like to see in order to stabilize the industry is to encourage more entrepreneurs and small businesses and medium businesses to start uh, all sorts of startups to work with uh, mature companies from the west and from east, whatever. Okay. The idea is quadruple the number of tourists. Now we stand at 1.1 million tourists a year. I would like to see the figure of 2 million plus uh, in the next two years. If we reach this target, we will be talking about the need to employ, to, to, to invest in infrastructure such as hotels and lodges that creates a lot of, uh, a lot of employment. We'll be talking about the need to, uh, to increase the safari business provision, such as uh, safari companies, tour operators, 
um, and in that hiring a lot of people including uh, people who take tourists to the Kilimanjaro, people who, uh, who are safari guides with knowledge of wildlife, knowledge of the species, etc. So I think to me that would be the, the sure way. One, to encourage the investing business, uh, investing communities to see Tanzania uh, tourism industry as an attractive market, but also to encourage uh, the traveling public from all over the world to see this market as not only uh, one of the most beautiful in the world, but you can predict, you can be able to enjoy and we give them value for money. Uh, when you look at Tanzania, almost 50% of our population is under the age of 30. How is Tanzania, um, or how is the tourism board working to involve this population into the tourism industry? The, the, the truth is, I don't see, I don't think they are doing enough. I don't see them having even a strategy. I haven't even read anything that uh, is tangible in terms of we think these actions results in empowering the youth. Okay, everybody talks about employment. We have direct employment of 400,000 people, but that's not enough. With unemployment rate in, in double digits in this country, with agriculture being the highest uh, employer, I think we have a very long way to go. I think we have to ask ourselves hard questions that will, 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 will result in, 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 in very good answers. Mm -hmm. And I think Tanzania Tourist Board has to reinvent itself. I'm even thinking of doing away with Tanzania Tourist Board and establishing a new Tanzania Tourist Authority with much more power, ability to, uh, to, to have their own resources and be able to not only increase the, the global reach in terms of marketing, but also being able to um, increase the appetite of the local people, uh, the growing middle class into, uh, into being source of tourists. And I think eventually, if you look at South Africa, you know, they have a pretty good size of their own uh, domestic people who are traveling. Mm -hmm. They eventually compete for the same resources and opportunities with the foreigners, and that stabilizes the industry. Um, what I would like to see, one, is we, we have a tourist board for now that is competent, it has the right people, it focuses on reinventing itself by allowing its own staff to really be up to the job. Secondly, it is such a small agency, it cannot really handle everything by themselves. They must now expand to work with other people. So to go to your question, I believe we, have a, we are duty bound as a country to empower the youth. And I think the potentials lying in this industry, uh, in terms of how many people can actually come into this industry and be not only employed, it's easy to be employed, yes. but to be able to create new opportunities. Young people deciding to venture into tourism related, whether or not there were Makonde carvings artists who would actually decide that we're going to be designing these products for tourists, whether or not there are special people who would decide to pack the fruits and vegetables uh, to feed the hotels and to feed the, 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 the tourism chain uh, of food production, okay. or whether or not young people who would embark on catch for uh, uh, tourism uh, to be able to uh, to establish and design specific cultural programs mm -hmm. across the country. You think of the Hazabe people, the Maasai people, the Barabai. We have so many tribes in this country. We were just recently in Bukoba. You saw those dances. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's not the story of this country is not told, and it can only be told by young entrepreneur who choose to to pick and target one particular goal, one thing they can do. And I think the challenge that I see, temptation is always everybody wanting to establish a safari company. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can establish, but there are a lot more opportunities that will actually feed into safari uh, industry, tourism industry, than just that. And, and this, 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 this really presents itself to youth. Yeah. And I think a lot of young people should be thinking of hiring other young people. Yeah, my name is Lazar Nyalan, the Minister of Natural Resources and Tourism. I've had a chance to meet the President of Curious Tanzania, Curious on Tanzania. I like what they do, I like uh, their vision, their energy, resilience, and everything they bring to this country. 
I would like to welcome them here. I would like to encourage every uh, traveling public uh, to work with them, create partnerships, and create a great safari that will make this country proud. Ana wewe 